why is it so detrimental mm -hmm. to a woman's mind body and soul and also financially to deal with a dusty bum on any level like i'm talking about from talking on the phone to texting when you're bored to going out to eat even though you know this man is not not good for you you're not interested in this man mm -hmm. like why is that detrimental to a woman's whole being absolutely great question and i want to first put out there uh -huh. that dusty bum as you say is not just a man it's man or woman okay man or woman man talk or to him woman. okay because a woman will have you thinking that a dusty bum is worth entertaining mm. if she's attracting dusty bums and that's the the playing field that she plays in she will have you thinking that dealing with a a man that's still living with his mom a man that doesn't have anything to take care of themselves their children all that she'll have you setting your standards very low so let's make it clear first that you want to make sure that man or woman if the mindset is dusty bum it's a dusty bum okay now it was so funny i was having a conversation with my husband earlier about btsd <laughs> right right <laughs> bum traumatic stress disorder okay if you have not been with a dusty bum you probably don't know what i'm talking about but a lot of women are suffering from bum traumatic stress disorder hold on hold on, hold on. say that <laughs> bum whom the what the hey the, the bum. bum traumatic stress disorder talk about it now <laughs> It will have you in a situation where if you have attracted a good man, you'll be so traumatized by the devilish things that this bum puts you through mm -hmm. that you won't know how to even deal with the great man that's right in front of you. You'll be feeling like you're asking for too much for things that he's actually supposed to do as a father and supposed to do as a provider and supposed to do as just a man an individual in himself so it's very detrimental for any woman to entertain a bum whether it's a intimate relationship mm. just a friend a family member because mm. we all know we got some bums in our family now <laughs> and no love lost, but you have to understand who these people are so you can understand how to deal with them mm. because nobody wants to attract cancers and put them close in your circle. Eventually, they will start to suck life out of you. Mm. And then you'll be having little to no energy for those that actually need you, that deserve you, like your children, like yourself. So you have to make sure that you're not sabotaging yourself to make excuses for why you need to entertain any dusty bum again i don't care if they're your mother your boyfriend your your husband mm. you have to start if you aren't already not have to start separating yourself because how's cancer work first it's just a cancer in itself then it starts to spread and it, and it starts to go throughout the whole body now you're sick mm. now you're stressed now your bank account is looking depressed mm. okay so mm. This is a generational curse in itself when you entertain a dusty bum because now you're setting the standards for your children mm. on what they should attract and what they should accept. Mm. Now you're 50, 60, 70, 80 years old trying to figure out why my daughter is out here with these men that are abusing her mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. But the whole time you were settling, the whole time you were making excuses, the whole time you were entertaining people that had nothing good for you. So it, it's a multi-dimensional issue when we entertain dusty bums because it's not only going to affect us, but even the ones that's looking up to us. So we have to make sure we cut the cancer at the head.